All right, so um, here, here's uh, practice problem number nine. Um, you know, getting ready for uh, test one, part B. Um, all right, so uh, it says, and of course, this helps you with the homework as well. A moon's orbit um, is uh, four times 10 to the fifth kilometers from its host planet. Um, the period of the moon um, is uh, 30, 33.45 days uh, around the host planet. Um, the host planet has a radius of uh, 600, sorry, 6,700 kilometers. How much time um, is the moon in the shadow of the host planet? All right, so let me try to draw a picture um, in, in hours, by the way. So, so the answer turns out to be 4.28 hours, but we're going to prove that. All right, so um, here, let me draw the picture over here. So uh, if, this, if this is the planet... Okay, so this here's here's our planet, and then we have a we have a moon. The moon is you know it's tiny. It's supposed to be a circle, uh, okay, and the moon is going around the 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 the, uh, the planet, and we know the distance that the moon is. All right, so um, we'll call that r. So so the distance the moon is from the from the planet, um, and the moon is so as the moon travels around. Let's assume that it's traveling in a roughly circular orbit. Um, we know that the circumference is the distance, okay? So um, the, 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 the distance that it travels, uh, you know, all, to go all the way around um, is the circumference, uh, which, of course, is 2 pi times the distance that the moon is from the planet, times r, all right? So, so that, that's, that's the distance. And, and the, the key here is... Um, we got to get the we got to get the velocity of the moon right the velocity of anything is its distance divided by the time um in this particular case what we're going to do is we're going to have the distance to be in kilometers and the time will be in hours right kilometers per hour all right so um the, and the reason for that is because they want it they want to know um how long how long the moon is in um, the shadow of the host planet in hours. See where it says in hours. So, so it just it just makes more sense to do it that way. Um, all right. So, so, uh, so we got we got some work to do here. Um, one of the things that we have to do is uh, figure out what the distance that it travels. All right. So, so the distance that it travels is two pi times uh, the, this this radius, and it's already in kilometers. So that's kind of nice. Um, four times ten to the fifth kilometers. Right, so we'll we'll work out what that exactly is, um, and and uh, the the time or the period, um, which in in this case is the same thing as the time. Uh, the time here uh, is thirty three point four five days. Thirty three point four five days, and we know that uh, in one day. Of course, there are 24 hours, and th and that's that's the conversion right there. So that'll get us that'll get us into hours. All right. So here, let's let's. So we're actually you know, almost done, uh, believe it or not. Uh, all right. So, um, oops, didn't mean to do that. All right. So here we go. Um, all right. So uh, let's let's work on the period first. All right. So third. Th Sorry, I meant to do that already. All right, so we got two times pi. Um, oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm working on the distance first. So, so two times pi times uh, four uh, times ten to the four exp to the fifth. All right, so so this is the distance that it that it travels. Right, this is the circumference. Um, of the moon are going all the way around. Uh, so so um, it's uh, 2 million. All right, so, so anyhow, that, that, that's what it is. Um, I'm going to store that um, and, and use it in just a little bit. Okay, so, so memory store. All right, so here, let's make sure that that's still in there. Yeah, all right, so there it is. All right, so so uh, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna work on the the time and change the time into into hours. 
So 33.45 days times 24, that'll give us the number of hours. All right, so, so it, it takes uh, 802.8 hours. So if I, if I do, um, if I do uh, you know, the memory recall here, um, that, that's gonna be the, the dit so, so what I'm about to do is figure out the speed. How fast is this thing traveling? All right, so, so in, in uh, kilometers per hour. So, um, so let, me, let me write this number down. So it's 8, 802.8, all right, so 802, 802, that's an 8, 802.8 hours. All right, so I'm gonna use that in just a second. All right, so here we go back to my calculator. Um, so uh, if I do my memory recall, and I divide it by 802.8. Now, you know, most calculators can remember that, but uh, this one, this is not a very good calculator. All right, so that, so this is the velocity. This is how fast the calculator is, <laughs> the moon is traveling um, in, in kilometers per hour. So it's 3,130.6 roughly. All right, so so the velocity of the moon. All right, so this is the velocity of our of the moon, not our moon. This is of of some moon about its host planet. Right, that's what's why it says a host planet. All right, so so um, the velocity is. Uh, let's write this down correctly. Um, Three thousand. Oh, I should have said the whole number. Because as soon as I touch the screen, it makes the calculator disappear. 130.6, 130.6 kilometers per hour. <laughs> Sorry, per hour. All right, there we go. All right, so, so now, now what, is, what does that get us? Okay, so, so now, now here's the thing. Um, the reason that we were given the... They, they gave us the, the radius of the host planet. So the radius um, is, of course, half the size of the planet. Um, and so, like, if you think about the, the so, so the planet's going to make a shadow like this, right? So this, if this is its shadow, the shadow is approximately twice the distance, twice the radius of the, of the planet, right? Remember, this, this radius over here with the radius... This R was the distance that the planet was from the from from its from the moon, but but um, you know you're dealing with several distances in this particular case. All right, so um, and the the reason that we once once we know this velocity, uh, which we just calculated, the velocity is going to is the distance, you know, divided by the time. Right. That that's that's just always you know a true statement as long as um, the, the, the object is not speeding up or slowing down, and that's not the case. So what we have to do is figure out the distance, the, the, you know, what, what is the size of the shadow? So, and the size of the shadow is really simple. It's just, um, so D is just two times the radius of the planet, the radius of the planet. So it's two, two times uh, 6,000. Six 700 kilometers all right so then that's already in kilometers um and so so and then uh what we're going to do of course to, to solve for t right so so, so we will know what d is we know what the velocity is and to solve for for t right so you, you bring you bring the you know you wanna, i gotta i gotta get a little room for all this hold, hold on let me let me make some room um, but anyhow, the, here, here I can do it right here. So, so t is 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 equal to um, d divided by the velocity. All right. So, um, I mean, you can kind of see that here, right? We bring bring the t over, and it's going to be t times this, and then divide both sides by v. Right. All right. So, so the v's cancel. All right, so that, that that's that's the way that that works. All right, so so it's 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 basically um, it's it's d divided by v. All right, so um, 
And so here, let's get let's get what d is, and and we we know we know the velocity now. All right. So um, so so that's the actually. You know what? I'm gonna put that in storage right here. So that's yeah. So that's in storage. All right. So so my distance is gonna be two times the radius of the planet. So six seven zero zero. It's gonna be you know like thirteen thousand something. Yeah, so thirteen thousand four hundred. So that's the, that. That's the size. Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's the size of the planet. I don't know why it did that. Um, so thirteen thirteen thousand four hundred, and then um, divided by. Hopefully this is still in there, uh, divided by the velocity, all right, and then we do equals, all right. So so that's the amount of time. So the so the amount of time in the in the shadow is about four point three hours. Or if if we go two places past the decimal, it would be four point two eight hours, which is which is what what I have right here, four point two eight hours. All right. So that's that's how you get that. I don't know why this thing is maximized like that. All right. Oh, there it is. There, there we go. So 4.28. So that's, um, you just divide uh, the, the, the size of the shadow, which is twice the radius of the planet, um, by the velocity of the moon. And you get the velocity of the moon from, from the fact that the moon is traveling in a, in a circular orbit, you know, approximately circular. Um, and we know what the period is. You just had to change the period to, from uh, from days to hours. All right, so that's uh, that's problem. Which one did we just do? Problem nine. 